Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. And after a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Abbot, 2010 ish. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. And then the child thinks to actually jump into a hole or actually fall into it. Really smart! Go to a place that no one returns from as a child. That's a long fall. Logic dictates that child would be dead. <laughs> Flat like a pancake. But alright. Hello everybody and welcome to the very first episode of Undertale. This game uh, is quite a weird game. As you can see I've already had an account. I've played a little bit, like 40 minutes of it. Just to get the hang of it, and uh, I decided to actually record it. This series, uh, game is quite popular on the internet, mainly because it actually lets you choose to not fight the entire game. But without spoiling too much, I'm just gonna go into it. Don't you have anything better to do? See that heart? That is your soul! The very culmination of your being! Your soul starts off weak, but can go strong if you get a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why love, of course! You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you! Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around! Get as many as you can! You idiot! In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die! <laughs> well, I'm screwed. Oh! such poor and innocent youth. Oh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toyo, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will get you through these catacombs. This way, so we're just gonna follow the cow-like creature who will help us. Of course we are a child, so we need some kind of uh, help throughout these parts where actually every monster tries to kill ya. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Oh, that's already not the voice I had. Wait. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. I've lost the voice already, god damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get the voice right, but it's really hard sometimes. The ruins are full of uh, puzzles. Ancient fusions between the versions and darkies. I must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. So she's just gonna be our tutorial guide. Uh, for the following while. I am going to try to make this a uh, friendly run. To make progress here, you need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labor points you need to flip. What a kind, lovely woman. So, I'm just gonna follow her lead, do what she tells me to, and that's gonna be easy. 
Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. This process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Because that's how you usually end fights. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Now, uh, as I've told before, there are multiple ways to actually play this game. You can fight uh, the characters, but then you will end up with a bad ending, as far as I can tell. I don't know for certain. I haven't seen the ending. Um, but I'm going to try and go for the good ending in which you don't kill anyone. It's, as far as I can tell, harder, but I don't know for certain. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. A dummy doesn't work really well for that. Toyo seems to be happy with you. You won! You earned 0 XP and 0 gold. Well, that's useless. in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Let's try, let's try, let's try. So this is already actually a real fight. I'm gonna compliment the forgets. <laughs> Poor forget. Oh look at her suspicion face, damn! She is not happy with that frog. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. So I just have to follow them. This is the puzzle bit. Here, take my hand for a moment. Oh, how lovely she takes care of us. I actually quite like this uh, game for the uniqueness. Retro game style, but also the sound. The sound is very important in every game, and they do it spot on in this game. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Yeah, no shit. The spikes are halfway my height. I'd be impaled in a, in a way I wouldn't want. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Don't think about that. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Well, this is going to be difficult. We have to walk an entire room by ourselves. As far as I can tell, it's a pretty long ass room. I will tell you everybody when... I'm actually blind to the what's gonna happen next, so. but for this part I do know what's gonna happen, so that's a bit spoiled, but no matter. You can't go into every game blind. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. I actually I can wait here and I get a few calls from her stating a few things um, and at the end I think a dog calls you or something that the dog run off run off with her phone and that ends with that uh, it repeats and then you have to move eventually she does not come back hello this is Toriel 
You have not left the room, have you? No. There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Click! Let's talk to this little guy. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling the monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human ribbit. Well, this is what we're going to try to do. We're go not going to kill anyone, so we're going to act instead of fight. Um, there are going to be two lovely um, characters coming, which are really lovely if you act instead of fight, so that's going to be amazing. It says, take one. Take a piece of candy? Yes. Proceed to open the menu. <coughs> I don't necessarily know what's going to happen if you take two. Ah, nobody's going to know. How disgust! Ah, you! I am a child. I don't know how old I am. I'm a child. Wimsome approached meekly. Oh no! I don't want to fight. <laughs> Act. Um. Well, I'm gonna console, I guess. Halfway through your first word, Wimsome bursts into tears and runs away. Poor Wimsome. He's a little wimpish. Ha! <laughs> It's probably why they called them Wimson, but alright. Still a pun nonetheless. I think I'm gonna fall, yeah. You might fall through the cracks. Uh, that's a little easy puzzle, if you even can call it a puzzle. Wimson approaches meekly. And so. And the same, the same old. Ring! Hello? This is Toriel. No reason in particular. Which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait, do not tell me. It is is it butterscotch? Actually, me personally I like butterscotch more than uh, I do cinnamon. But I like cinnamon cinnamon as well. <laughs> I had a feeling. When humans fall down here strangely. I often feel like I already know Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. Click. Ring. Hello? This is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Click! Alright, uh, well... Froggart hopped close. Froggart, I'm gonna compliment Froggart. Froggart didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. <laughs> Alright, and if they're, uh, if you go to Mercy and it says Spare and it's yellow, then it means that they don't want to fight you anymore and you can do that. Uh, up till now I have never gained any XP, only gold, so I don't know if it's if that's any use whatsoever, but we'll see l later on in the game, I guess. Or tell me down in the comments. Ring! She's probably <laughs> getting us a candy or anything. Uh, if I recall, this is going to be a bit difficult. Am I actually going to do this in one run? Oh no! So close! I almost did it from memory. We have to walk this line. Uh, where there's no leaves, I actually have to go uh, on the top floor. That's a little puzzle. Wait, 
Can I actually already... Yeah, I can spare him without actually doing anything. Oh, that's gonna be easy. Now that I know the game a little better, I can actually run through the game pretty quick, which is quite nice. Before I couldn't actually do it, so... I had to play for a long time before I actually knew how to play it. So this helps quite a bit, yeah. Alright. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm? That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Ah, we got another fight. A pair of froggets. Well, you have to uh, actually make sure both of them don't want to fight you to actually get it. But they both attack you, so you have to pay attention, evade. Uh, I'm gonna spare one. Makes it easier to evade the rest. As you can see, complement this one. You can also wait for sparing and then complement both. Spare them, spare them at the same time. It will be faster, but it won't be easier. You wish. Alright. Mm -hmm. You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout! And uh, that's it! Uh, these little stars always give you uh, a save point and a healing point. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. 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 A little cheese. This cheese has been here for quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Good luck for the mouse. Are they gone yet? I'm sleeping! This ghost keeps saying s Oh, <laughs> that's also a possibility. Out loud repeatedly, pretending to be asleep. Move it with force? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Here comes Napstap Luke. Napstap Luke. Well, I hope you don't do the second part of your name to me. Um. Well, I am quite a flirty beast if I say so myself, so. Oh! Oh, wait! Ah! That! That! Alright, that was harder than I thought. The faint odor of ectoplasm permeates the vicinity. <laughs> Are you sweating? I just weigh you down. I'm really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Alright. Just wishing they weren't there. Oh no. Cheer up. A patient smile. <laughs> We're just going to have to make sure that he looks just a little bit better. That's great. Cheer up. You told Nastic a little naps. Step Luke, what a tongue twister. Nap step Luke, a little joke. <laughs> if I'm correct, the next will be the end. I hope so. My health is not the greatest at this point. Cheering seems to have improved Nap step Luke's mood again. Ah, uh, that's cheer. Nap step Luke wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it the Dapper Blook. Do you like it? He's got a little hat. Uh, oh, I still need to tell him it's okay, I guess. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. Yeah, I changed voices. I didn't have a good voice room. But today I met someone. Somebody nice. Oh, I'm rumbling again. I'll get out of your way. Alright, let's go over here. Let's see. Ribbit, ribbit. <sighs> my favorite friend, or my friend, never listens to me. 
bit of hard talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. I'm gonna try. I, I didn't do that last time. Wait, uh... Oh, not you too, yeah. <laughs> they didn't actually do that. Uh, I tried to skip through it and they actually... Oh no, not you too. That's pretty funny. I had FA make you go full stream. Yeah, I already knew that. These are just a few hints and tips. Ribbit, ribbit, I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now the monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very helpful, it's bad. Well, I think it's very helpful, it helped me. As I already said in the beginning. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you have to do it even if the name isn't yellow. So that's a hint you need to take care of. Ring. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I have not expected... Of, I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things laying about him now. You can pick them up, but do not carry any more Someday you might see something you really like. We're gonna go back, because this is apparently the right way, because she calls me. Uh, I'm not gonna pick on you. Um, and hope that there's something I missed. If I've missed someone, something, I'm going to... That was the flower! How come the flower is there? I, I've never seen that. Um, is that important? You can't fool me, I saw it! Spider Bakes Hill! All proceeds go to real spiders! Well, uh, I don't want to eat what you're baking. Um, I don't like that I saw that plant. Uh, uh, that plant is quite scary. Didn't think I'd say that! Uh, let's have mercy for that little plant thing. Oh look, he did the worm. Oh wait, I can... Just needed to let him do his dance, I guess. Well, uh, let's see here. There's just one switch. Let's try them all, I guess. A ribbon. You found the faded ribbon. I think there's a way for me to... Yeah. Item, faded ribbon... Use? You equip the ribbon. Yeah, that gives me more defense or something, I think. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Vegetoid. Uh, dinner? You pet your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Is that a sacrifice or something? <laughs> Eat your greens! Alright. And it actually healed me. That's pretty awesome. Alright. Let's see, what's over here? It's a carrot, probably a vegetoid as well. Yeah, a vegetoid. Alright. Act. Uh, well, I'm gonna go for dinner. You pet your stomach, vegetoid lovers. A healthy meal. It's the same as the other one. Alright, I'm just uh, going to find the next safe zone, and after that, I'm going to end the episode. I'm just going to try every place. Oh, the right parts don't have any, so I'm going to skip those. I fell down a hill, and now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. <laughs> you little bugger. Let's just continue on. Luke's drew near. I won't pick on you. 
Never bully children, those things are mean. They have a lot of, um, you know, meaningful things behind this. I think this game is meant for children, I do not know. <laughs> Probably. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks the rotation, a rotation in perspective. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, my gosh, cross are close. La la la, just be yourself. Ah, my gosp is really nice. Imagine killing those guys, that would be mean. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Yeah, alright, I know where this is. Um, so, this is, might be encountered as a bit of cheating, but I was searching for this, um, this button for like 10 minutes in my first game, so that's... I've had my torture, I can use this as knowledge. Alright, this is not cheating. Uh, let's see... If you can read this, press the red switch. Uh, is this red or is this orange for you? Yeah, it's red. Right. If I remember correctly, then they were a bit... Um, a bit weird with the... With the colors. Maybe the next room that they actually do that. We'll see. Ah, damn it. Alright. We did get a, quite a few coins from that, but our health is not insanely high, so. If you can read this, press the green switch. Oh, I probably can. Behind some places. And mercy! No mercy for the Sun Jones. Wait, what? You dick! You. Oh, wait, this one? Okay. Oh, come on. It's like Pokemon, you know? Um, you want to level up and then. Uh, you grind a lot of Pokemon in the wild bushes, but after a while you don't want to encounter any people because it takes uh, your time, you know? Is this a play one? You dick. Alright, walking all the way back again. Apparently if you press the wrong one you fall down. I didn't know that. Must have done it perfectly last time. Let's press the green one, right? A pair of Vegetoids, that's gonna be hard. I've got two. We're gonna try, but... Alright, got it. Dinner. You bet your stomach, a Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Yota! I got it. And I didn't actually get damage, I got two health from that. And 8 gold, which also helps. It's a switch, press it, yes. You are clicking sound, it was behind here all this time. Heck. Alright, let's hope it's a safe point up ahead. I don't know if I need to go up or right, I'm gonna try. Ribbit, ribbit, just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying you some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit! Oh, it's a knife! You found the toy knife! Oh, toy. Yeah, that's it's useless. Ah, either way, we're not gonna attack either way, so damage does not really matter. Only a flattery, flirting and uh, talking helps, I guess. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Oh shit, busted. <laughs> How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. 
every time this old tree grows any leaves they fall right off. Well that's depressing. And here is the save point. Right. Seeing such a cute tiny house in the ruins gives you determination. Alright, I think this is a great place to end the episode. Right in front of Toriel's house. Next episode we're gonna go in and see what happens next. I hope you like this episode and look forward to the next. If you did like it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to become part of the Fennon family today. Don't forget to get that little bell as well and get another one for free. That's all for now and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!